I'm waiting on some big news. But let me tell you how you wait on big news. You wait and you pray. You pray and you wait. But don't just sit down and wait. You got to get up and do what you need to be doing. You have to do things in faith. Even though you don't see the answer yet, you got to pray and wait. One of the examples that I learned from um, a pastor from years ago, he was like, but when you're waiting, what do waiters do? They still serve. And I thought that was such a powerful statement. I'm like, they still serve. Waiters serve. So in your waiting, you got to continue to serve. You still got to go to work. You still got to keep pushing. You still got to keep going. You still got to take care of business. You got to take care of your kids if you have any. You got to take care of your spouse if you're married. You got to take care of yourself in your waiting. In your waiting doesn't mean that you go and sit down in your room or you go and sit in front of the TV, watch Netflix and chill by yourself or be all out doing any and everything that does not serve your purpose. No, you've got to wait. But you got to wait in purpose, okay? So, I'm waiting on good news. I'm waiting on big news. And when I get that big news, that good news, I'm going to come back and let you all know that it all worked out. But I want you to stay encouraged as well. Because in your waiting, it can get difficult. You can become impatient. You're going to be like, like, why is this not working for me? Like, why does it seem like it's working out for everybody else? It's not just working out for everybody else. You're being processed. You got to learn how to wait. You got to learn how to be patient. And that's just that. I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. But understanding you're waiting, baby, you got to still keep moving. Y'all have a great day. My name is Latoya. I talk about faith, family, and business, baby, because we stand on business over here. Okay. All right. Take care.